Hello, I'm back. That sounds creepy. <laughs> um, I am back though. Oh, obviously you're watching this and I'm here and I'm really, really excited to film this video. So much so that I am sweaty and gross from working out. Um, actually, I use my brushes as microphones. Um, that's not what I was gonna say, but I, I'm doing that. Um, and that's, I actually teach online to kids in the morning. I teach them English, um, kids in China. And a lot of the times since my brushes and all my makeup are right here, they can't actually see it, but I'll like grab it and like we sing along and I use the brush. So I'm doing it with you guys too. Anyway, this video is not about me singing into my brushes as much as I'd like it to be. It is about this. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Filtered Effects Soft Focus HD Setting Powder with Blur Effect Technology. You'll remember that because we have the Blur, Buildable Blur, got it this time on the first time, which also has the Blur Effect Technology. So these two are a perfect pair. And I'm gonna actually do, this is gonna be another, I don't know if it's gonna be a seven day wear test, um, probably not, but I'm gonna do a few applications and variations on applying it. So I'll chest out with that. There's one really fun trick you can do. Um, and then today, I know I just, like I really wanted to test it out and I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna put on makeup later, but I wanted to just see, um, I think this is actually a really good opportunity to test its blurring capability and to test it in the situation that I'm gonna be using it most of the time. But before we do that, definitely like this video, subscribe, um, small channel so I need all the help I can get. Anyway, let us take a look at what it says on this package. Now this comes in one color, which is translucent. Um, and it says, powder on perfection with this weightless, botanically based HD formula. Instantly hydrates, smooths and, smooths and softens for an exceptionally matte, never flat, flawless finish. So the first step, it says dip brush into mesh, then tap off excess powder in the separator. So what you'll see once you turn this or untwist it is you actually, you do have this nice plastic separator so that stuff doesn't get everywhere, like in your makeup bag, typically. And then once you open it up, it's this fun, it really is like, it's hard to describe, but it's like a trampoline. Um, and that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna dip your brush in, and then it sounds like you dip the excess off on the top. And then step two, to set foundation tap powder onto face and buff powder in with circular motions. So it's a setting powder, that's what you're gonna do. But um, a lot of the time I've been wearing pretty much just setting powder. Um, and I really wanted to get this because if it does have this blurring technology, I won't have to use a lot of other things with it. And the reason that I have been doing that is because I've been working out at lunchtime. Um, I go to flywheel spin classes, which is like part of why I'm so disgusting and sweaty. But during those classes, you, I mean, I don't know, like the women who walk out that are like dry, I don't understand it, but I don't, I'm covered in sweat and I have a towel that I'm like constantly kind of like dabbing the sweat off. Um, and I think it's kind of embarrassing to come out with my towel covered in makeup. So now that my skin is doing a little bit better, um, the melasma is not hundred percent better, but I've been working on it. Um, I'm going to do a video on the Rodan and Fields reverse regimen, which is what I've been using. Um, but my goal is to not have to wear as much makeup. So that's what I do. Um, I have, excuse me, I have been using the Rodan and Fields reverse sunscreen, which is SPF 50 and I like it. I think it, obviously I think it works really well, but, um, it definitely leaves more of a sheen on my face and I, I don't like that. So I would do that and then this and hopefully I can get away with it. All right, so enough babbling. Let's try this shit on. All right. Oh, it smells, it smells good. Okay, so, so far, 
I'm digging it. Um, what I've been doing, also, I, it really smells good. Like, kind of want to just keep using it because it smells so good. Can't figure out what the smell is, though. Um, so, my face looks a little whiter than my body, which is normal. My skin is um, a little bit fairer on my face. But that is one thing that I'm noticing. Um, it says to buff it in, which is, this is actually my, what's it called, Bare Minerals Supreme Finisher Face Brush, which is perfect for this because that's what you do with Bare Minerals. You buff in circular motions in. So maybe if I keep doing that, we will get it there. So I am liking the effect of it. Um, I just don't like this difference in the skin. Um, and I'll definitely need to play around with this a little bit more. But I will see you guys in the next application. All right, we are back and we are going to do a full face today, trying the Thrive Cosmetics Filtered Effects Soft Focus HD Setting Powder. So let us just jump right in. I'm gonna put this hair, this, it's not a rat's nest right now, but um, it was 90 degrees yesterday and today is October 6th. So it's like ridiculous, I, like I'm sweating. I'm just, I just constantly and I'm, am in a state of sweat. So I need to put this up better. It's not gonna look pretty, but it's gonna work. So I picked up a few things from Ulta today. Um, I'm gonna be testing some of them out. One is the Smashbox Photo Finisher Primerizer, which is primerizer plus moisturizer. I have dry skin, I'm gonna test it out. Doesn't feel super um, silicone-y, so, but it definitely feels moisturizing. I've already moisturized my face. Um, I'm, I just bought some new Origins moisturizer and really liking that because I'm having some like dry skin breakouts, especially under my eyes right now. It's not good. All right, next I'm going to just go in with both of the Thrive products. This is the Buildable Blur CC Cream. I don't want a super full coverage because I'm actually just going to be running errands today. So let's see. I'm not, I really am not going to be using a ton. And if you want less coverage, I've found using your fingers is a really good way to get that. If you go in with a brush, you're going to get the fullest coverage typically. If you go in a, in with a sponge, you're gonna get um, kind of medium to light coverage depending on what you're using and if you build it up. But Fingers is a really natural finish and kind of a lighter coverage in my opinion. And then what I like to do is once I have it on, and you can see it's definitely kind of blurred out everything, um, I go back in just with a little to cover up any spots that I may have. Um, and I found that this Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur CC Cream doesn't necessarily need to be set. Um, if you want, you can go out and it's gonna set down a lot more. So you can go out with it on like this. I already have eyeliner and mascara on, although I need to touch up my eyeliner over here. Um, so we'll do that. Okay, the next step, oh, by the way, my boyfriend got me flowers and, which was super sweet. Um, I got home yesterday and they were there and I like, you know, thanked him and everything. And then I, I love to put flowers in this beauty slash office room of mine, but I realized he didn't cut any of the stems, which in like, in the kitchen, you can't tell. But when I put them here, normally, like when I set them on this little shelf, the flowers are here and you can't even see them. So it's hilarious, but they're, they're beautiful and they've got 
these eucalyptus flowers, which I really like. So we're just gonna leave it and it's gonna be there and I love it. All right, so we're going in with the Thrive Cosmetic Setting Powder. Um, I tried it out yesterday in the video and I just did it on a base of nothing but moisturizer, but today, obviously, we have the CC cream. So you go in, you take your brush, you dab it on. This time, I don't think I need to tap it off, but you still can. Um, and then you're supposed to kind of buff it in. Um, and you can, some people like to only set under eyes. Um, with this CC cream, you don't necessarily need to set everywhere. So I've already noticed it's just been a few, like a minute since I put the CC cream on, but it, it's definitely less tacky. Um, it's kind of setting down on its own. So do your buffing motion and make a really weird face because that's what I do. And mess up your eyebrows, which I already did also, but that's why you do those steps later. I really do like this setting powder. I have noticed, I feel like it's translucent, but it does give my face like a little bit more um, of a pale look, which not sure how I feel, especially if I try it in the middle of summer. My skin is already getting lighter um, at the end of the summer, but we'll have to test that out and see. So that said, I know I'm just looking around. I'm going to go in with a little bit of bronzer. I should have had all this ready, but I didn't. And I'm going to be using, this is my Benefit bronzer brush, and then the Emily Edit, and I'm going to be using the Bronzer Courage. So. This brush is kind of a good size to go into this bronzer. Um, and then I'm gonna start kind of where you typically contour and get it in. And what I like about this brush is you can see that line. What you can then do is kind of, there we go. And that diffuses and kind of, you don't have such a dark, deep line. So let's do the other side. And we already have a bit more color in our face. I'm gonna do a little bit on the forehead, not a ton. And then sometimes I just take the excess and go all around. I'm gonna do just a smidge. I say that, let's try. Of the blush, um, also from the Emily Edit. I like this shade of blush a lot. And this is a Wet n Wild, I think it's a blush brush. It's got the tapered um, brush. So, and I don't really even want it on the apples today because I'm going to be going out but not spending a ton of time out and I just don't feel like wearing a ton of makeup today. So I'm kind of brushing it into my hairline. And I'm going to do that on both sides. And then I'm going to go over my nose. Just give a flushed look. And then if you feel like you have any harsh lines, I just go back in with my big brush that I used to set it, um, and voila. Now I also got a sample of the Becca highlighter in Opal. It's pretty cute. It looks kind of blinding, um, like a little maybe too light. So I'm gonna take this fan brush, which I don't always use. I think this is a ColourPop one, F6. And just because I know that these Becca highlights are pretty powerful. Um, and let's see, we're gonna go like this. Definitely the brush that I want to use because I feel like with the fan brush, you don't get a ton of payout. And I can feel my hair coming down. So to finish off this look, I am just going to brush out my eyebrows. I already kind of filled them in. I don't really need to ever. What is that? Is it? Um, just brush them out so that they're a little bit more tame. Sorry guys, the light is coming in through this window. So I'm trying to like play with that so you can still see me. Um, 
you might have to see there. This is my other side of my world, which is teaching English online. So you're just gonna have to see it. And I'm gonna have a little bit of a um, sheen on my face, but I'm gonna, so I did a little cat eye on this eye and I, this one came off. So I'm just gonna touch that up real quick. I'm gonna do one last part of the video on this setting powder, um, which will probably be tomorrow. And that is where I'm gonna mix the powder with the CC cream, which is another one of the tips that um, Carissa and the team at Thrive suggest, and that's to make your, um, your look a bit more matte. I don't typically go for matte, so I might not like it, but I'm gonna try it out. Sorry, I'm just cleaning up while you guys are here. All right, I am back. If my nose looks red and my eyes look red, it's because they are. Um, it's been a rough morning. Um, suffice it to say, I, well, I guess we're just gonna dive on in. Um, my brother passed away six months ago. So, you know, it's been, it's been hard um, to say the least. And I, this video is not about that in any shape or way, but I don't wanna lie. Um, and that's why we're gonna put some makeup on because I have to go out and <laughs> I can't look like Rudolph right now. So, as I said um, in the video earlier, we we're gonna try the last way with the Thrive Cosmetics Setting Powder. Um, also, I look so ridiculous, but whatever. Um, it, it does feel weird to be doing makeup right now in a sense. Um, I just had a really, really rough morning. and um, But at the same time, um, I think it's important to remember in your hardest moments in life and when you're going through shit you have to find ways to continue going on and doing the things that you do love and I do love makeup and I do love art and making beauty and making meaning in this world so um while it feels really hard I'm like part crying right now um I'm doing this not just to like because I feel like I should or anything and just to continue to make me keep going. And um, it's easy to just sit and wallow. I, I've just done that for the last two hours, but I can't do that all day. So we're gonna get going. Anyway, deep breath. Okay. So the last two days I've been trying out the Thrive Cosmetics setting powder and I tried it two different ways. And today I'm gonna try it the third day, which is with the BB cream and making it into a powder. Um, it's gonna make it a more matte look. All right, so I've got my cat ears on. I need them today. And we're just gonna jump on in. I'm gonna be using the same um, blur, buildable blur. And the color that I have is medium beige. Okay, so what you do with this is I'm gonna use the top of the setting powder as my little um, palette. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pump some onto it. I'm really not gonna use a lot. And then you're gonna take, there. Let's use this brush just to mix it because I don't use this brush as often. You're gonna take some of your setting powder and if, if there's not a lot in this part, you just kinda go like that. Um, bounce it in. And I would say like get a solid amount and then you're gonna actually mix it with this. And it already changes the consistency quite a bit. And then I'm just going to start applying. You probably need more um, than you think. So just, if you need to dump out a little bit of the setting powder. And I'm just gonna kind of um, pounce it into my face. Obviously, I need to cover my nose and my under eye area. Um, it's definitely more of a matte look. You can see a little bit of sheen. Um, that's actually just the lighting in here. But I, <laughs> I definitely don't think I need powder. Um, that's kind of part of it, that you're putting the setting powder into the palette. Um, but it's definitely got a good amount of coverage. You can see my problem areas are up here, 
where the melasma are and then down here my nose was bright red it's not anymore um i'm gonna go ahead and finish this look off camera and then i'll come back for some final thoughts all right all right i am back with the finished look um i didn't do anything crazy i just put little baby cat eyes um some mascara brushed out my brows i put i did put some bronzer blush blush and highlighter so i guess i did do a lot and lipstick uh but you know i was looking a little flat which is understandable you're doing a full face especially when it's matte you do need um to put some dimension back into your face so what i've been doing pretty much non-stop has been using the emily edit um oops upside down and i've been using let's see i've been using this bronzer and then this blush i haven't really loved the highlighter to be completely honest but that's fine um instead i got this free sample from ulta yesterday which is the becca um in opal and i used that the other day and i i love it it's definitely i mean i think becca highlighters are like top of the class shoot i forgot to use this mascara this is the buxom big tease i'll try to remember to use it another time but i used kind of my staples let me pull them out and I pretty much always use this um, Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner, and I do have it in the um, micro tip. I didn't use that today, but I've been loving that for really defined cat eye. Um, I've been going back to my Trish McAvoy. This is the Lash Curling Mascara, and I have that one, and then I have the High Volume. They're both, um, what are they called? tubing mascara and I did a whole other video which I can link above on drugstore tubing mascara. When I do want the drugstore mascara, I this is my favorite. I actually, in the video, I had said that the Wet n Wild Lash Fibers was my favorite, um, but this one I've just been reaching for. I think they're pretty comparable, but that one is two steps instead of three, so in the morning I'm usually at a, in a rush for time, so I go for that. But lately, this is these are just one step. Um, they're thirty dollars instead of like seven, so I've been using them up. But I probably will not repurchase. And I use those for years and years and years. Um, as far as brows, I've been using this Anastasia. Um, this is just the perfect brow pencil. I also have the Brow Wiz. Now the difference. This is a crayon. This is the brow pencil, um, and then the Brow Wiz is a retractable pencil. This one definitely gives you a bit more definition. If you're drawing in your eyebrows and you don't have very thick ones, I would recommend that. For mine, they're pretty thick. It's the Greek in me, so I don't really need to do that much. So this has been my go-to. And a good tip, um, if you have darker eyebrows, you don't need a darker shade. Um, I think that's kind of a misconception and a lot of people draw on their eyebrows and they're so thick and all you can see on somebody's face are their eyebrows, but actually, if you, I mean, this probably goes for a lot of shades of eyebrows, maybe not blonde, but if you have pretty dark eyebrows, use a lighter shade. This one is soft brown. I think this one is too. Let me see. This one's chocolate. So this is actually a little darker, but since it's so defined, it's okay. But for this bigger pencil, the soft brown, it just, it, it doesn't make them so big and caterpillar like. Um, <laughs> So I also used for my lips, this is the Ulta Beauty. It doesn't even say what it is. I got this as a free sample. It's like a full size one, but Ulta Beauty has like, they have some stellar stuff and I love this lipstick. Um, it just gives like a pretty natural look to it and there's it's super moisturizing. So one thing I forgot to mention about the um, Thrive setting powder with the CC cream, um, I did it with a brush, but you actually could really, I was going to use this um, Dampen Beauty Sponge, and I forgot. Um, so you could do either. The Beauty Sponge is going to be great for if you have a little bit of texture on your face. This always kind of does a better job evening out texture. Um, the brush is going to give you a bit of high, higher coverage, typically, than a sponge. So maybe next time, I'm not going to do a video on it because I already put my makeup on, but next time I might try the... Um, mixture of the spun of the setting powder and cc cream with the sponge Whew. anyway i'm feeling a lot better um thank you guys for 
If you've watched to this point, thank you for listening to me almost cry and tell you a bit about my life, which I had never really planned on sharing. Um, it's life though. And sometimes you have good mornings, sometimes you have bad mornings, but your day is not defined by those few hours. So just keep going, do something you love, push yourself to do something. Um, it's easy to sit in bed. It's easy to just do nothing, but that doesn't help. So. I'm going to wear these cat ears all day because that makes me feel better. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.